Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are changing out a, a master temp pool heater. Check it out. First thing you do is turn the gas off, then we break the collar loose. We'll take the door panel off. Oh, nice. Got some. Surprise visitors here. See all this is from mice. Oh gosh. Then we have a little stowaway in there. Uh, fortunately, he's dead. <laughs> okay, back to it. So here we'll disconnect the power. You'll have two hot wires and a ground, typically if it's wire 220, so uh, that. And then the other one, this is your control wire if you're using a uh, some sort of automation, um, Jandy, Pentair, Hayward, one of those. You'll be able to turn it on and off with the remote controller. So these two wires uh, go to that. So when we install the new one, we'll make the same. Remove the loop that's here and install our our wire for the switch. The last one is disconnect the gas pipe. And since we're replacing with an identical heater, they should match up nicely. Okay, we're back. Got the new heater, old one out, the new one in. So we'll go ahead and get this on the side. In an effort to reduce uh, the mice getting in it, Pentair came out with this little adapter. Goes over the gas pipe before you stick it back in. And it will, it will uh, help keep the mice from getting in there so easily. Get this snugged up. Be sure you use plenty of pipe dope on that. Or thread paste, whatever you want to call it. And you can see this is going into the gas valve. second set of pliers is there to hold the gas valve so it doesn't get twisted off. There we go. One last thing on top of this, once you get the pipe gas connected, there is an on-off switch right here. It's always in the off position, so be sure you flip it on, otherwise you won't be able to light the heater. So we'll get this pipe connected, uh, put the door back on it, get that last pipe connected. Okay, we're back. We can get started on the electrical. Got three wires, red, black, and green. These are your two. Run the control wire back through. On this particular heater, up here at the top, the wires go in and you can run your cables in in there the control wire and here is the uh, where the control wire will plug in we'll just unhook this again this wire just allows you to control it with a remote so got to hook that up be able to control it remotely okay that one then we'll cut our wires here and attach those always do ground first 
in case there ever is a charge come through it that ground will reduce some of it all of it won't go through your body or so I've been told don't want to test it actually okay That up. Last connection will be this green wire. We're going to bring it down and connect our bonding wire, and that will complete the electrical. We'll close it up, and then the last connection will be the plumbing. Okay, real quick, you can see we're going to repair this. So we'll cut this 90 off and then just extend this pipe back into the heater. And then we'll cut this one off here and extend that pipe back out and come in here. So this one will 90 in, this one will go straight in. Cool heater back in business. Plumbing is complete. Into the front, completely wired up with our bonding wire down in the corner. Comes out the side. Gas pipe. We'll just check for leaks and we're done. Okay, here we go. Just gonna test all these, get some good soapy water. Pour it on all the connections anywhere we touched and even the ones we didn't and if it was leaking it'd be making big bubbles kind of like inside of this bottle see the bubbles but uh, not seeing anything got one more inside the heater I'll show you how to get in there okay on the master temp heater if you look up inside there's wing nuts in each of the four corners. Got one back there as well. And then one over here in this corner. Take those loose and you can get the lid off. Okay. Got the four wing nuts loose. Now the top just comes right off. And you can gain access to the board. But what we're looking for is that gas valve just want to check it for leaks no bubbles I believe we're good double check them you can also see your on off switch for the heater we've got it in on position Okay, we have a Jandy control system. So the first thing to do is push the mode button, get it down into timeout. We're gonna turn the filter on. We're gonna turn the heater on. You can see we're active. We're gonna turn the pull on. We're gonna set the temperature. Go to 104 on the heater, that way they can control it with the remote up to 104. Okay. Current temperature 64.
Fantastic. Here we go. It's heating. No leaks. Here we go. Thanks for watching.